What's up guys, this is Todd Pritchard here coming in with this lesson video for this Usher chord melody. So we're going to start off on this G flat major triad right here. So I got ring finger on fret 11 string 3, pinky on fret 11 string 2, and then index on fret 9 string 1. Then moving down to this E flat minor triad, ring finger fret 8 string 3, Middle finger fret 7, string 2, index fret 6, string 1. And then go into this D flat sus 4, ring finger fret 11, string 4, pinky finger fret 11, string 3, index finger fret 9, string 2. So we got G flat, E flat, sus, and then this is kind of like an E flat triad with an add two here so I got ring finger or middle finger on fret 8 string 4 pinky finger fret 10 string 3 and then index fret 7 string 2 so that's gonna slide down to an A flat minor and just stopping at that second string there and then like a C sharp 13 sus bar fret 4, strings 5 to 1, hammer on that, um, actually use the ring finger to hammer on fret 6, string 1, and then go into a B flat minor, um, 7, I add that flat 7 there, so I'm barring on fret 6, ring finger fret 8, string 5, and then pinky finger fret 9, string 2. So we got G flat, E flat, D flat sus, uh, E flat, A flat, C sharp sus, B flat, and then this E flat minor seven. Just adding that pinky finger on that D flat there. So I got bar uh, fret six, strings five to one, ring finger fret eight, string four, and then middle finger fret 7 string 2, pinky finger fret 9 string 1. Alright, so that's the first time. Alright, then the second time, G flat major again, and then an inverted G flat over here, so I got 8th fret, string 4, index on um, fret 6 string 3 middle finger fret 7 string 2 and then a B major triad bar fret 7 strings 1 and 2 middle finger on that third string fret 8 and then I take that pinky recommend a heavy dropped wrist with this take the pinky and then grab it from that B flat there on that 11th fret second string slide to that um, a flat and then grab the ring finger on that G flat on the fret 7 string 2 use the weight to create this A flat minor chord or be like an A flat minor 9 so super dropped wrist index finger on that A flat fourth fret next string middle finger pinky finger on that B flat uh, eighth fret fourth string Right, so you're gonna go. And then. So just the chord itself, I'm moving into that B flat minor seven again. Do this little lick. I do the um, seven, nine, so a hammer. And then I use the B flat with the bar with my index prep this B flat minor so so I kind of just hear the sustain from that B flat so I play then I play the root 
that A flat with the B flat on that sixth string, and then strings three, four, and then hammer that ring finger on that F fret eight string five. So we got. And then just play this little D flat major triad on fret uh, six string four three two. And then I come into an E flat uh, minor seven again. But what I recommend doing is when you play this uh, D flat, create the bar for the E flat minor already. So you have you can just cruise into that. Neil soul run here. So coming, brushing through the chord to string two, hammer on fret nine, hammer on that pinky on fret nine, string one. Then slide up to fret eleven. Then just the fourth there, fret seven, strings one and two. So from that fourth, I pull off with the pinky on the B flat, fret 11 string two, then slide that up. And I'm kind of with the pull off on the pinky, I kind of hear, I kind of grab, I kind of hear that first string too, while I pull down. I kind of catch the first string on the pull down with that pinky. Slide up to that uh, ninth fret, uh, strings one and two, and then, so it's, and then I move back into that G flat major triad, but I have a bar with that index, and then hit the pinky with a hammer from fret nine to 11. So again from that A flat minor 9. And then to repeat it, I go back to that E flat minor triad with that add 2. So I'm just going to play it real slow and then just talk about some, uh, some quick percussion things that I'm doing with the right hand. So we got So with the right hand, I kind of get that thumb. I like to do this little kind of skip with the thumb. Just kind of mute the fourth string on top. So say I'm playing a triad on strings three to one. I'll always play the thumb with that quick pickup mute on like the string above whatever chord I'm playing. Same thing with the E flat. And then I'll jump to the fifth string with the mute on the thumb for that D flat sus. And then thumb swipe, rest stroke on that first string, pluck that second string, but uh, just kind of let the hand go with the left hand. So you're just almost hearing the rhythm, it's not really about the note. And then swipe. I'm oh, sorry. Uh, swipe down to the second string. Same thing with that second string. Play the D flat, then come in. Same thing, pluck. Now this, it's a combination of a snare and a swipe. So I snare with the with the thumb and then swipe the fingers across. It's kind of like a flamenco style sort of thing. So the thumb's coming in and then the index middle ring coming down.
and then six on this chord, uh, six, five, four, three, and then a little classical roll with my right hand, start with the thumb, six, four, three, and then I hit the second string with the actual note. So the bar is muting, and then it's two, three, four, and then I hammer that ring. And then brush stroke with the thumb. Now, same thing, percussive hit. And then that mute on the fifth string. Alright, so I'm just going to play it a couple times real slow. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching.